Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2025. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna introduce you to how to animate using the anchor point transform property. In most cases, you'll probably just want to move the anchor point itself. For example, if I don't wanna rotate this from the center, but maybe I wanna rotate it from the bottom, well, for that, I would just go to the pan behind tool. I would click on the anchor point and just move it wherever I want to. And now when I rotate, you're gonna see it's gonna rotate from that position. Now let's move on to the anchor point transform property. The keyboard shortcut to bring up the anchor point property is A. I'm gonna also bring up the position property by holding the shift key and tapping letter P. When using the selection tool, keyboard shortcut V, if I just move this logo layer around, Notice the anchor point is moving with the layer. And if you look at the values, the position property values are changing, but the anchor point values are not changing. Now, if I were to use the pan behind tool like we did earlier, when I move the anchor point, notice the values of the anchor point property are changing, but so are the position properties. I'll reset that by pressing Command or Control, double clicking, so now back in the center. Now watch what happens when I change the values of the anchor point transform property. And I think this is why a lot of people get confused as you would expect the anchor point to move, but when I change the values, the logo is moving, but the anchor point itself is staying right in the center of the composition. I'm gonna put zeros in the position property. So zero, zero, it moves the layer and the anchor point to the top left corner of the composition. That's because I have a 1920 by 1080 pixel composition. And if I was to change the X value to 1920 and change the Y value to 1080, it's gonna move it in the bottom right corner. And if I do the same and zero out the anchor point property, so I'll put a zero and I'll put a zero the anchor point itself did not move. The values of the position property did not change, but as you can see, the layer itself was offset. It's using the internal coordinates for the anchor point itself. And if I center the anchor point to the layer by pressing Command or Control and double clicking on the pan behind tool, the values of the anchor point were updated when I moved the anchor point. And the position property also changed because remember, when I manually move the anchor point, they both change. Now look what happens when I center the layer back in the composition. So I use the align panel and center it to the composition. Now we're back to that 960 by 540 and the anchor point positions are the same. And for the animation example, my composition size is only 1080 by 1080 but the map graphic is a 4K file, so it's a lot bigger. I've centered the graphic on the composition, and as you can see, the anchor point is right in the center. Now, if I move the position of the layer, notice the anchor point is moving with the layer itself. Now, I could manually move it over here by using the pan behind tool, but then when I tap V and move the layer, now the anchor point moves with the layer in the other direction. I'll make sure that the map is aligned to the center of the composition. And with the layer selected, I'll press Command or Control, double click on the pan behind tool to make sure that the anchor point is at the center of the layer. And to make it easy so I can see the entire map while I'm animating, I'm just gonna open up the map layer into its own layer by just double clicking on the map layer. Now you see we have this panel, which is the layer panel. You can see at the top it says layer. And this panel is the composition. I'll bring up the anchor point and the scale property by selecting the layer. I'll press A for anchor point. I'll hold the shift key and tap S for scale. With the selection tool, I'm just gonna move the layer to where I want the animation to start. And I can scale in. If I zoom into the layer, we can see the anchor point is right in the center of the layer, just like it is over here. Just looks a little different since we're only seeing the bounding box. And over in the layers panel, I'm gonna to go to the bottom where it says view, click the drop down and change it from masks to anchor point path. That way we're gonna be able to see the motion path as we're animating the anchor point. I'll move the CTI to the beginning of the timeline, then click on the stopwatch next to the anchor point and the scale property to add a keyframe for each. I'll move the CTI forward in time 
Now I'm going to go to the layer view or the layer panel with the selection tool, not the pan behind tool, the selection tool. When I click and move the anchor point in the layer panel, it's going to move the map, which is going to allow me to animate it exactly how I want. So I'm going to click and as you can see, it's moving the map. It's also creating that anchor point path so I can really see where this is going. So I wanna to go towards the Midwest and I'm just looking. I don't wanna see the background. And I'm gonna use the scale property to zoom out. And again, I can just adjust using the anchor point to get it exactly where I want it. And I'll use the scale and just kind of fine tune it. I'll drag the CTI back just to get a preview. Pretty cool, huh? Let's head up to the Northeast and you're not moving the position over here in the comp window. We're only moving the anchor point. So I'll click, I'll move it that direction. I might have to go out in the Atlantic Ocean a little bit. I use the scale to adjust as I want. Again, I'm just looking at the background. I'm just doing a little dance here. Move the CTI forward in time, and we'll end up in Florida, which is where I live. So I'll zoom down, maybe zoom in on Florida, get that American flag in Florida right in position, get exactly how I want to. Drag the CTI back to the beginning. I'll select all the keyframes by selecting the anchor point that highlights them. I'll do the same for scale. I'll tap F9 to add easy ease to smooth the motion. Tap the space bar. We've got almost a 3D camera movement by animating the anchor point property. If you don't see the anchor point path over in the layers panel, be sure to go down to the view and change it to anchor point path. And now with the pen tool, you can click on one of the points to add curves. I'll go back to selection tool. I could make a big curve. And you can see that's really gonna change your animation. And that is an introductory look at how you can use the anchor point transform property to create this sort of 3D camera pan and zoom animation in Adobe After Effects CC 2025. And my name is Mike Murphy, cheers.